Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 7, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this trailer is really exciting, we get to see Speed Force Nora helping out Barry, Barry might be getting some new abilities, his powers have definitely amped up since Nora the Speed Force has been around. Also, we got to talk about theories about Nora being evil and not what she says she is. As you saw at the end of last episode, something is definitely going on with her and I got a feeling there's going to be a twist. We have a lot of theories to go through once we get through this trailer breakdown and as we talk about Nora, we're going to be going into that. So there is a lot of stuff, so stick around for the whole video. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this trailer. So, this is episode 7, and it must be noted after this episode, The Flash is going to be off for three weeks. They're going to be taking a little hiatus, so The Flash is going to return, like, around the start of May. And so, we could be expecting some sort of big cliffhanger to leave us wondering what is going to be happening in the next episode. And they've definitely planned this, because this was definitely part of their schedule when they were filming. And, you know, the CW is planning out the whole year and they're like, okay, we need a break sometime in the Flash season. Let's do it right here and leave it on a big cliffhanger so people are interested to come back for episode 8 in May. So, I've got a feeling there's going to be some sort of big cliffhanger and it may have something to do with Speed Force Nora. Okay, so let's go into the trailer. So, the first shot of the trailer is this. Nora is inside Barry and Iris' apartment. Obviously, that's how we left off the end of the episode. She is going to be sticking around and staying with them for a while. And so, I'm really liking this storyline. And it's very intriguing and very mysterious. Because, as we said, at the end of last episode, it looked like something else was going on. And I think Barry definitely suspects something. So, she's here, she's in the kitchen, she's cooking and she's being helpful, and then we cut to a shot of Barry, and Barry's hand is freaking out. He isn't able to control his abilities since Nora is so close to him, and since he's got out and he's fine, and he has his speed force fully back, so basically, you know, he isn't able to control his powers, so he's here, you get this reaction shot of Iris, and then we go back to Barry, and he smashes the glass of, like, orange or apple juice, and then, so you get like a close up of it, and another reaction shot of Barry completely drenched in the juice. So, this is definitely a ramification of him getting his Speed Force powers back, and it seems like Barry's gonna be even more powerful, and she's definitely amping up his speed. And as we saw last episode, the Speed Force is an actual speedster, so she has Speed Force Lightning, she's able to speed around in reality. And so that's really exciting and we get to see a lot of that in the trailer. You can see right here, she has multiple colors of lightning. And as it says in the voice overlay, Barry says, she's the speed force, she powers my abilities. And then she says, I'm like your battery now to Barry. And then Barry's like, having you at a crime scene might not be the greatest idea. And so at this point in the trailer, you get to see her speeding in. She's got the multiple color lightning. She has red, blue, yellow, and orange. And so it's like this whole big kind of rainbow color. And so if you guys remember the colors, that was a big thing over the last few episodes because that is the signifier of the different forces. And so it's very interesting that she has the colors, all of the colors, rather than just like one like Barry, she has all of them. So you see her right here, she stops. The special effects look more like the DCEU special effects because it's not just like a trail. Like, she's literally manifesting and, like, coming out of the lightning. Or at least it looks like that. And so it looks really great. And she's here at a crime scene and she's like, I can help boost your speed. And I guess at that point, Barry's like, sure, like, yeah, you can boost my speed. I definitely need that power. But things do seem to be a bit awkward. Like, we go back to the apartment and you see Nora looking at Barry. And she's definitely following him around for most of the episode. So she's here at the crime scene in the next shot. Then we cut to a wider shot and you see Barry looking at his arms and his speed force lightning is just coursing through his body. So his abilities are being amped up like tenfold and so it seems like it's a little bit out of control. So he speeds away and she doesn't even react to it or anything like that. But it must be mentioned at this crime scene. In the background, you see this van has been iced over. So I believe in this episode, we're going to get the introduction of the new ice villain, that being Chill Blaine. He was teased a while ago. They cast him and he's going to be in like a couple of episodes and he actually sets up Killer Frost. 
And so if we move on to the next shot, you see Christian Kramer here, who is the person that is going after Frost. I'm wondering, is she setting up Frost because she thought something happened to her in the past? Like her personally, I'm talking about Christian here. Or is she just here because it is a Frost related incident? So is she here because she heard about it and was like, yes, I'm gonna go take down Frost or something. Or is she more involved in this than we think? I've got a feeling something shady might also be going on here. But literally in the mirror of her car, you see Barry who it seems like he's just sped up over here. And that was what I was just talking about. I feel like his powers are out of control and he's just stopping. And could this be the reveal of Barry's identity? It's definitely going to be a close call because she is definitely looking inside the wing mirror. So has she just seen Barry speeding in? We'll obviously get the answers in the episode. So I'm not sure if something greater is going on with Chris and Kramer, but this is definitely setting up frost being set up and that's going to be the reason why she's getting taken to the court because that's going to be evidence of a crime scene and so we're obviously going to have to take down chill blaine at some point later in the season and fully expose that he was the one that committed the crimes and he set up killer frost and killer frost is innocent okay so let's move on to the next shot so we go to barry csi lab you got chester here with barry and speed force nora speeds in again looks really awesome with all the different color lightnings and at this point, she's like, I can feel you're frustrated. How can I help? And Barry in this next shot is kind of freaking out. And I definitely think he's getting frustrated by her being around so much and being so clingy. And also, I think he's very confused about why his powers are so powerful. Because in the next shot, he runs off inside the CSI lab. So this is just right after this. And then he stops. And basically, he's like, whoa, what is happening to me, essentially? And you get a reaction of Chester. So now let's go ahead and go to Nora's lightning. Now, what is going on with Speed Force Nora? There is definitely something greater going on. So I've got three theories that I want to break down and talk about whilst we're talking about the trailer because this trailer shows like multiple shots of her speeding around and using her Speed Force lightning because we can see she has the yellow lightning, the red lightning, the blue lightning, and it looks like maybe a little bit of orange as well can't really tell however you guys remember the force lightning colors they were blue red yellow and green so i don't think there's actually any orange here that is barry's powers you know that's like an offshoot of yellow essentially okay so she has these colors but she doesn't have the green and i think that's very significant because at the end of last episode dion aka steadfast who has the powers of the still force actually got away and he's still out there and so psych and everyone else Yes, they're out there, but has she got to them or something? That's one of the questions. However, let's go into the actual theory. So I really do think something is up with Speed Force Nora. I don't think she is just who she says she is or the reason for why she's here is completely true. There's definitely something greater to this. And so number one question, is she disguised as someone else? Could this be not the actual Speed Force? She has just disguised herself as Nora, yes, she has Speed Force abilities, but could she be not the actual, literal Speed Force? So, this could be another speedster or another person disguised as Nora slash the Speed Force. And so, she talked about her true form last episode. So, could it be that her true form is something different from pure lightning? Yes, she has the abilities of the Speed Force, but is there something greater to her plans because she has the other color lightnings? So has she been taking down these forces in order to gain power? And so is this another zoom slash reverse flash or Dr. Alchemy situation where a friend turns into an enemy and someone is disguised as Nora and obviously the Speed Force because that's who she claims she is. However, there is something definitely up and Barry knows there's something up and this is definitely going to be investigated and it could expose something a lot deeper than what it seems. Okay, so number two theory, the speed force was never attacked. So when we first saw her reappear, she said she had been attacked by the other forces. So you saw the lightning go off inside Star Labs. However, it must be noted we never got to see that fight. We didn't see that interaction. So something different might have happened. So what happens if she was the one she was the force that attacked the other forces since she was revived because obviously she died last season, the Speed Force died, but now it's back so she attacked them because they were let loose, but they got the better of her and so she was the one that caused it rather than them. So is there something going on like this? Definitely possible. And so 
the Speed Force is hiding this. She's hiding the fact that she is the one who is hungry for power and wants to take down the other forces so that she can have the lightning colors. So she might use Barry's amped up speed abilities in order to help her defeat the other forces. And so in this case, she is the Speed Force and she is not lying about her identity. However, she is just hiding the fact that she attacked them rather than them attacking her. So ponder on that in your mind, have a think, what do you think about that? Okay, so let's go on to my final theory. The Speed Force is feeding off the other forces and she had been doing this for all these many years. She locked them away long ago. So I definitely think the forces have always existed, right? Because the Speed Force exists in a place, in a dimension beyond time and space. And with the other forces being incredibly similar, it's very likely that they've been around for, you know, all of eternity. But she was the one that locked them away, and that's why we'd never seen them before. But now, with her coming back, and the Speed Force being revived, that means that they've been able to escape. And so this is why Nora has all the different lightning colors in the trailer. And that's why she doesn't have the green lightning, because Dion escaped. Also, it was said, spoiler alert, apparently later in the season, Psyche isn't going to be necessarily a villain, and neither is Sueza. So I've got a feeling something great is going on and what happens if the Speed Force turns out to be the villain of the first half of the season. That would be a great twist and I definitely think it's possible because she has the different color lightning. So what happens if she's taken over the other forces and that's why her lightning comes off as blue, yellow and red. And that's why she doesn't have the green lightning because Dion, the Steel Force, escaped last episode. So what do you guys think about those theories? I think it's very interesting and I think... It's very possible that the Speed Force is going to be the villain of this first half of the season because it's been heavily teased that yes, Fuerza and Psyche are kind of bad. They're not going to be the main villains of the first half. And I think it's just very likely that someone just as powerful as them could be the one who is controlling and trying to do the bad things, you know, so they are the villain. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Check out my recent Flash review I reviewed last episode. It was a really good episode. Also, check out my Supergirl review. You can click them on the top right corner of the screen right here. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.